everybody, Edo here, and this is Kingdom Rush Rift in Time. It is live on Kickstarter now by Lucky Duck Games. I was fortunate enough to have two of the designer designers, Helena and Jesse, come over because they're local and teach me how to play and work through it. And I have to say, this game is outstanding. Debatably the best execution that... Lucky Duck Games has done. It is the best execution on an IP they have done, hands down. And I think they've done a really good job. Chronicles of Crime, I don't know, it's gonna be hard. But this is excellent. I am a huge Kingdom Rush fan. I really enjoy the game. I've played many of the iterations, if not all. I think I'm halfway through the last one. But this is an excellent cooperative execution of the Kingdom Rush game. Tons of great solutions and it just really works. I was really impressed. Also, components are great, but the minis are super great, and now that, um, you know, uh, uh, Lucky Duck has cut their teeth on doing these, they're just spectacular. I have seen more than what was sent to me. I fully expect this to be a monster campaign, and I fully expect for it to um, unlock all the stretch goals. Basically what you're doing, so Kingdom Rush is a tower defense game where you have lots of enemies coming in one direction and you're popping towers and it, you know, um, on your mobile device, it's solo, you're just upgrading towers, upgrading your dudes, your heroes, and some of it's just grinding and others is placement and organization and how you manage your different towers and abilities, different enemies have different uh, defenses and special, special attacks, and you got to manage it and it's frenetic and fun and puzzly. They nailed that here. There's this original, like, neat little piece, which is interesting. So enemies are going to start you. That You have to set up each match. There's multiple sides. There's there's multiple uh, of these larger boards. They have multiple sides. They have different layouts. For the number of players, you have to put different things out. So there's a little bit of a setup. but And you're going to manage this deck. This is all the cards, but you're going to manage most of it. And then you're essentially going to start. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip over one of these cards and put it in this tray. And then it enters the world. So what's really neat here is rather than having singular units, you have squads of units coming through, which is very like the IP. So players are then going to be putting out towers. And essentially what you're doing is you have a tower builder exercise you're playing um, on your own with your towers, but you're trading your towers to other people it's because only certain, uh, everyone has a limited amount of leveling up they can do. So you're like, oh, and they only have certain spots. So you're like moving towers around while trying to level them up. But you have the militia tower, the bombing tower, the mage tower, the archer tower, and so you're going to be laying these out. Uh, and you're going to—I'm just doing this setup. They're going to—they're going to be out here. But it, basically, you're like, "Hey, let's go!" And they all do different things, firing either tetraminos, tetranomos, or whatever uh, how you ever, the Tetris pieces, <laughs> and these get placed over the dudes. And what you're trying to do is use your different ones. You don't have to do it so it. it I mean, you could do it flat, but you're trying to cover up all of the enemies. Militia, if you're familiar with it, lets you put a number of dudes down uh, based on the level of the building, and then they can cover up dudes as well, but when it moves out of that spot, they move away. Different dudes have defenses. Like, if you've played Kingdom Rush, it so delivers, it's crazy. Uh, and you're playing and things move, and then eventually you kill pieces, more come in, you start getting overwhelmed. There are escalation cards that are really hard and more come in. Later levels have multiple ones coming on. If, if one is, it catches up, it, like because you can stop it from moving uh, with the militia, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it'll move over it. And like, just it's super intense in the exact way you'd want it to be. Um, you start playing without your heroes and then you bring in your heroes. And so everything that's going on, but now you're moving your heroes on the board. They're able to cover up spots with their base. They can attack, they all have special abilities. They have a really nice way of managing their movement and life and special attacks. Like, bravo, bravo, excellent job. The design team did really great here. The art execution is fantastic. The quality of the components is fantastic. Like, if you're looking for like a cooperative, uh, very unique feeling, but very evocative experience of hordes coming through and playing it together that's light, colorful, and family-friendly, uh, as well as just for adults, but I'm just saying it's not zombies and death. Um, this is it. My biggest qualm, there's a few things that I provided uh, they, those guys some feedbacks. They use these um, 
sort of see-through plastic pieces for sort of setting up the different player tower colors. And boy, these are hard to see on the table. Uh, like, the color difference is really subtle. Um, I, I saw a video I looked at where they made, or a picture of like maybe upgraded towers or maybe some other solution to this. This was my biggest annoying problem. Like, what color is that? And so they gotta fix this. But like, if this is, this, if this is the only problem, I think they're okay. Um, some other UI quibbles I had, but uh, thumbs up, thumbs up. Best job, uh, IP job from Lucky Duck to date, and they've done really good jobs. I'm excited to see how this grows, expands, and I just imagine this Kickstarter is gonna like unlock thing after thing after thing, because that's what those guys do. Um, but these things are awesome. So anyway, this is Kingdom Rush Rift in Time. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks. Bye.